Welcome to the Top Facts channel, and today, without long introductions, we will look at something that will turn your understanding of the animal atlas of planet Earth upside down. The most unusual creatures you've definitely never encountered. Let's start with something wet and slippery. In China, crabs exist. It's not even unusual that they gather in large numbers somewhere. But sometimes, a gathering of crabs looks eerie, like in a science fiction movie. That's a different matter. This is what a fisherman encountered as he was walking to work in the morning. He found a cluster of giant crabs clinging to the staircase, like an army of sea monsters. The fisherman felt uneasy, as if he were among aliens. It seemed to him they could harm him, so he hurriedly stepped away from the monstrous assembly. You might say that the clever crabs climbed the stairs due to rough surf, and you would probably be right. This is perhaps the creepiest crustacean I have ever seen. I can only imagine what the explorers felt when they found it in the forest during an expedition. At first, they thought it was tree branches but were shocked when they started moving and walking. I don't think anyone realized what kind of creature was in front of them. It could have featured in any terrifying myth. Later, the truth came to light. It was a rare, spiny crab of the Neolithodidae family. Its striking appearance is created by dense spines covering its shell, serving as armor to deter potential predators. After all, everyone knows crab meat is a delicacy. If you remember the mythical Demogorgon from the famous series Stranger Things, such characters might be real. A worker came to dig a pit, but what emerged from the ground took away any desire to work there. It was unclear whether it was a giant crab or a crab-like spider, but one thing was certain. It was disturbed in its usual habitat. What if an entire family of such giants lived there and they were hostile? The worker decided it was best not to get too close and retreated. The creature also vanished underground, leaving the mystery unsolved. A certain eccentric who claimed to be a scientist kept a shrimp farm for many years. His small water basins contained many mantis shrimps. It is unknown whether he bred them for food or pseudoscientific experiments, but an unidentified researcher found the whole setup when the hapless farmer abandoned it. The imprisoned shrimps were released into open waters, but the owner of the shrimp prison, unfortunately, never resurfaced. Last year, the author of this video passed by a small town near a forest and stopped at a farm to rest. When he went inside, he saw something strange. It looked like a nursery where hundreds of frogs were kept under a net in captivity. When he tried to approach, they became frightened almost reflexively. Maybe they had been subjected to some unpleasant experiment. The man realized something was wrong and quickly alerted the authorities. Wildlife Protection Services arrived and freed all the frogs, but it remained unclear who was keeping them there and why. Which rituals or a farmer's vendetta? Which explanation do you find more plausible? If you see an unknown creature near a river, the best thing to do is put it back in the water, as this man did. When he spotted a strange creature near the shore that looked like a cross between a snake and a salamander, he decided it wanted to return to the water. As the reptile or amphibian was very small and helplessly crawling on the ground, it didn't seem threatening. The man, unafraid, picked it up with his bare hands and placed it back into the water. However, I don't recommend grabbing just anything. Protecting nature and your hands would be wiser with gloves on. Who said monsters only exist in movies? This time, a person was not strolling in a city park, but in a barren mudflat. He froze when something that looked like a snout emerged from a muddy puddle. The monster had no eyes, facial features, or defined structure, which pointed to one thing. Something was hiding in the mud, and it certainly wasn't a kitten. The slimy head repeatedly retreated and resurfaced, enough to scare anyone. The man didn't dare throw a stone into the puddle to find out what was there and quickly left the place, and rightly so. We don't know how deep that pit was or what was lurking within. A crocodile-like creature was spotted by a man who came to fish by the pond. He noticed movement behind him and discovered this crawling reptile. Yes, you heard correctly. The animal was indeed sliding as it had evident issues with its front limbs. The snout wasn't quite like that of a crocodile either. There are two likely explanations for this odd deformation. The loss of body parts following an attack by another predator or an unknown genetic mutation that caused the animal to be born without limbs. What we see is this creature's adaptation to reality. 
But the worst part is that we don't know what to do with this knowledge. Now it's time to say, Mama, and run for your life. And the only way is back. We now know the answer to whether dragons from fairy tales still live in caves. This cave monster awoke due to noise in the corridors of its cave. Some independent researchers decided to visit the deep, narrow labyrinths. They definitely didn't find what they were looking for. It seemed that this dragon-like creature had lived there for thousands of years. It looked quite old, and its behavior couldn't be called entirely aggressive. It didn't attack, but merely drove the uninvited guests away. But hold on, we don't know how large this dragon was. Only its snout and two front legs emerged from the corridor. What if there were 10 more meters behind them? The researchers fled and, I'm sure, never returned to those narrow corridors. Probably stopped taking the subway too. I would after that. The bravest people in the world are medical students. They can bring home anything, even a newly hatched baby dragon. A student found this hatchling and another dragon egg in the forest near her home and, without much thought, brought it to the lab for study. In a wooden box, the baby dragon began to relax and rest. No one knows where they came from or what happened to the second egg. The fate of the hatchling is also unknown. If you know what a typical salamander looks like, this video will amaze you. I'm going to show you an absolutely incredible specimen. Its body is bright orange which is completely atypical for this species. It definitely looks out of place in the local landscape. In Japan, a man was walking along a riverbank when he noticed something bright by the water. At first, he thought it was a piece of plastic pipe. But when he looked closer, he realized there was a giant salamander crawling. Naturally, he was shocked, as he had never seen such an animal before. It's like finding a talking golden fish in the sea. Perhaps out of sacred fear, he didn't pursue the salamander, but just tried to record as much as possible on video. This image was sent to us by subscribers, and we have no idea what kind of creature is in front of us. No description was attached either. Do you think it's a real photo or Photoshop? You can also send your footage to our email provided in the description. If we get cool shots, we'll definitely show them in one of the episodes. And please add descriptions to your images. It's very important. Dinosaurs are coming back, but now they're not as big as before. A strange creature was sitting on a car wheel. It initially looked like a worm, and the car owner tried to scrape it off with a stick. When this creature is enlarged, it turns into a monster with four legs, a long tail, and a frightening toothy face with a spiked tail. What if it's venomous? Judging by how the worm reacted to the attack, it does indeed have means of protection. Still, the stick won, and the worm was knocked to the ground but who knows if this is an insect or a reptile? If you know the answer to that question, feel free to share it in the comments. If you're eating spaghetti right now, it's better to return to this video later. Earthworms are harmless and not even disgusting, especially if you enjoy fishing, until they gather in huge clumps. Such a scene was witnessed by Texas residents after heavy rains in 2015. It seemed like earthworms from around the world had come together to take over the state. The man who filmed this scene was walking down the road and noticed something unusual. Large clusters of earthworms, spaced at regular intervals, shocked him. At first, he thought they were tangled balls of thread, but upon closer inspection, he realized they were ordinary earthworms, albeit slightly larger in size. A strange sight, never seen them gather in such numbers. Perhaps this is their way of surviving floods. A clump holds together, while alone, they'd be scattered who knows where. What do you think? Do worms have a collective mind, too? This is another video not recommended during meals. This time, the strange behavior of a group of centipedes has an explanation. They stick together to stay warm in cold weather. They cannot generate body heat on their own, but by pressing together, they share warmth and create a cozy environment that helps them survive. Even in such a group, each centipede still finds its own food and eats as it would alone. Unity is strength right? This reminds me of a flock of sheep huddling out of fear. Snakes usually scare us and are hard to mistake for something else, but this man found a tiny spiral-shaped stick near the river that looked like a snake. Or not, he found a mini snake resembling a dry, twisted stick. You decide, now we'll see how it behaves in water. As soon as it was placed in the river, it sprang into action, rhythmically spinning like a drill. It swam away with the current. 
The man was puzzled and couldn't figure out what it was. Maybe you can offer an idea in the comments. Our planet doesn't just amaze, but shocks us with its diversity of life. This strange, snake-like creature was found in a backyard. It looked as if several dozen worms had intertwined in a ball and were trying to get out. The witness couldn't identify the animal and shared the video online. Naturally, it went viral, and people offered different opinions. Even about whether it was a snake or a centipede was up for debate. One thing's for sure, I wouldn't want to find something like this in my yard. 1. The violin mantis looks like something non-living, more like a fantastical structure made of twigs and leaves. Yes, this unreal insect is known as the Indian rose mantis, or violin mantis. Its long, thin body does indeed resemble a violin, with the neck looking like a fingerboard. This complex construction allows it to camouflage among leaves and branches, and its long, curved forelegs help it catch prey. Despite its intimidating appearance, it is harmless to humans and actually beneficial as it controls insect populations. When people talk about zombies, they usually mean an unusual form of human undead. However, take a look at this insect. It crawled into someone's yard in a very poor state. Half of this beetle's body, or torso, was missing, and there was no life in its legs. The poor thing could only move using one pair of legs. An unbelievable situation. No creature can live with such severe injuries, so the man thought he had a zombie beetle in front of him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Fish are among the most mysterious animals, and even experienced fishermen sometimes encounter things they cannot explain. On the riverbank, this fisherman noticed some moving black spots, and he was not afraid to pick them up for a closer look. It was only by the opening mouths that one could tell they were fish. Otherwise, they looked like creepy black bubbles without eyes. You might think they were some kind of black goldfish fry or giant tadpoles, but this mystery remained unsolved, and the fishermen had no choice but to release the strange fish back into the water. The creepy creature I'm about to show you might remind you of malevolent aliens or a self-assembling terminator. A fisherman in China approached a river and noticed a strange object on a stone. When he looked closer, the object began to move, showing signs of life. Out of curiosity, the man tried to prod it, but it reassembled again, like droplets of mercury striving to merge into a hole. The more he tried to separate the strange black mass, the more slippery and cohesive it became. Online commenters called it a mass of worms. But I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Turtles probably resemble aliens the most by appearance, especially when they have such a shiny head as this specimen. A man was walking through the forest, and this very shine caught his attention. When he got closer, he realized it was just a turtle, although it didn't look like a typical one. Its head was unusually large and shiny. When the video hit social networks, it sparked a wave of discussions. Some thought it was a mutation, while others claimed a new species had been discovered. Finally, it's time for the white and fluffy, because some might already feel faint from all the slime. Sometimes while walking, we have a chance to encounter a truly rare animal. A tourist was walking along the river when he came across a strange pale creature. Later, experts confirmed that this place was known for the presence of a unique pink-skinned armadillo. This peculiar animal, about the size of a hamster, is easy to identify by the shell on its back. But this specimen looked more like a piglet. Here's another interesting fact about armadillos. They're the only mammals with two layers of skin. There are 20 species of armadillos in the world, but the other 19 have only one layer of skin on their backs. So, when you go for a walk, look around instead of staring at your gadgets. Nature can surprise you. For some reason, everyone falls prey to biases. We consider bald or slimy animals repulsive and disgusting, while fluffy ones seem adorable. Even if you're holding a very soft and groomed but wild predator, a silky anteater, we perceive it as a living toy. It's quite slow, but eats between 100 and 8,000 insects a day. This small mammal is the smallest of all types, the pygmy anteater, typically growing to a length of 30 to 40 centimeters, not including the tail. It was found in the forest, apparently living alone and quite sociable. The soft, dense fur of the anteater varies from pale yellow to brown, helping it blend in with the forest environment. But all of this is cute until the animal turns its face to you 
And then you see a true goblin with a sly and sinister face, and its claws could come into play at any moment. A bat with a dog's face was caught in 2022 in a small village in Pakistan. This strange creature caused much concern among people due to its unusual voice and appearance. It really did look quite frightening, like a hybrid of a dog and a vampire. The man who caught this creature handed it over to the authorities but had no idea what it was. I hate to disappoint you, it's not a ghoul, and its face is quite similar to a cute dachshund. This species of bats, or as you may have correctly guessed, flying foxes, is called fruit bats. The bat family inhabits the tropics and subtropics of the Eastern Hemisphere. They are afraid of humans and mostly eat fruits, not people, and they could very well pass as exotic pets. Now let's talk about strange changes in the appearance of familiar animals. In 2020, in the United Kingdom, a strange pigeon landed in a man's yard, which he recorded on video. The bird's appearance shocked everyone at first glance. We understand that this is definitely a pigeon, but one of an unusual modification. Exceptionally long legs with white feathers on the feet and a puffed-out chest are not found in ordinary pigeons. When the video was posted online, it quickly went viral. Many believed that the bird's atypical appearance was related to an illness, as it was during the height of the pandemic. And now, it's time to be amazed and horrified at the same time. We're going to show you creatures that are impossible to identify and where they come from. We don't even know if they're real. Just when I think there are no more unidentified creatures left on the planet, something appears that nature herself might have objected to. A creepy creature that a man found inside his house in the UK had no eyes or legs, just a long rat-like tail and a body resembling a giant maggot. If you let your imagination run wild, you could say it's a rat cocoon or a runaway animated vegetable. Still, this is the first time I've seen something living that's impossible to identify. The man just thought it was some animal that had entered his house by mistake, and he pushed it outside with a stick. Good thing it didn't appear in front of a woman. Here, even the bravest would have fainted, I think. All creatures that live underground typically lack vision or even eyes at all. They don't need them in total darkness. But when something that looks like a road pillow with legs and rodent teeth runs at you, it makes you wonder. Is it a paranormal event or nature's prank? This man was just relaxing in nature when he heard rustling behind him and saw a strange creature that looked like a rat but shaped like a sausage. There is an animal called a naked mole rat. It's a small burrowing rodent that has no fur, so it looks like a raw sausage, but it does have eyes. This creepy specimen probably had an unfortunate birth, making its eyes look sealed shut. Still, it figured out where to run and even tried to stage an attack. Would you be scared by such an encounter? In 2018, a strange creature was found in China. A passerby noticed it by the riverbank. It seemed alive and even floated somehow. The man was not afraid to pick it up and found that its shape quite resembled a human figure, even as if it had a head with one eye, some semblance of limbs. But the body was surprisingly thin and soft, like a sponge. No one could figure out what it was, so the witness put it back into the river and the mysterious creature was never seen again. Could it have been a piece of foam that children carved into a scary shape? Or do you have other theories? A man heard strange noises on his property and went out to see what was happening. What he saw looked more like a horror movie scene. On the ground was a huge humanoid insect. Its body was swollen, like a pink balloon, and its legs were exactly like those of a giant spider. But the most terrifying part was its face, resembling that of a baby. The man wondered if it was an alien or the result of a bizarre mutation experiment, but the surprise was definitely not pleasant. He got scared and returned to his house, but the next day there were no traces or news about the humanoid spider. What do you think? Could it have been a Halloween prank by neighbors? Which creature surprised you the most? Be sure to write about it and subscribe to Top Facts, and a new episode on another interesting topic will be out very soon. In the meantime, you can check out previous videos that have appeared on the screen.